In this video, we are going to see how we can connect our React application with FastAPI and AWS DynamoDB, which is a NoSQL database. So we are going to create this particular front end, which takes in the name of the book and the author on it. Uh, after clicking the button add, it goes to the DynamoDB table and adds the books. If we click on all, get the list of all the books, it is going to list all the books over here from the table. So if you go over here, we can see that the DynamoDB table, DynamoDB database has one table. You can simply create one table by clicking on this button and providing the partition key. In this case, it's a book ID. If I go inside this table right now and explore the items in the table, you can see there are three books right now with unique book IDs. Let's go and check how the application works. So if I click on all the books, it's going to print all the books that are there. If I add another book, I can just put just simply put the name of the book, like uh, code. And again, the author is Dan Brown. Let's click on add. This data submitted successfully. Let's go to our table. Hit refresh. Now the items are four, and we have uh, the Da Vinci code added with a unique ID. So let's see how this works. Uh, let's go to the code. This is the code. Before we start uh, looking at the code, uh, it is assumed that you have prior knowledge of fast API, AWS, DynamoDB, Python, and React as well. So the folder structure here is I have a folder which is DynamoDB React. Inside this folder, I have a React application called as front end. I have the fast API code in the main.py. The key config.py file contains the AWS keys to connect to your AWS account. Let's look at look at the fast API code. I'm uh, importing all the libraries required, creating a fast API object. Now to connect our AWS DynamoDB to our Python application, we are going to use Boto3 and to create that we have to provide we have to do this particular function give the name of the aws service put the access key id secret key and it's compulsory to put the region name as well otherwise your application is going to give errors so this is the us east one which is north virginia and this is how you connect your dynamo db service to our python fast api application since we are working with react we have to connect the cores as well. You have to set up the middleware and cores, which can be done by these, by this section over here. Moving down, we have our basic class or root or the slash endpoint, which just returns the hello home page on the fast API server, not on the React server. Let's go to the form tag. So it uh, this particular function is a uh, fast api post request uh, calling on the url api endpoint as submit data in this we give a dictionary as an input and then we create we get the table which we have created on the aws over there which is called as books in this case and this is the uh, variable with which we can access the functionalities of the dynamo db service Whatever information is uh, put by the user on the front end is collected in the data. In this case, is the name of the author, name of the book, and the author. So to generate a unique ID for every entry, we are using a UUID library, which creates a unique ID for every entry, which is then stored in the book ID uh, entry in the table. To, say, to put the data onto the DynamoDB table, you can simply use the function put underscore item and provide the dictionary that you have created over here with the data given by the user and the item is put on the DynamoDB table. Once that is done, you simply return data submitted successfully that you saw over there on the screen. There's another endpoint that we have done, which is a get request to get all the books from the DynamoDB table. Do this, simply we create an instance of the DynamoDB table. We have a function called a scan. When you do that, 
all the items all the uh, data in the table goes to the variable items and you simply return that now let's look at the front end code which is our react application we are putting all the necessary required libraries here and let's look at the html part first so that we can understand the ui so i have a form in this form i have this particular form which on every we have this form on which on after submitting the, submitting the form the handle submit button is clicked so we have an input text which for every text it goes to the handle change function this is some styling we do the same thing for the author input as well once the button is clicked it will go to the handle submit function let's look at this function now when this particular function is triggered it is going to use the axios library in react which is going to make a post request to the fast api url and then going to the endpoint submit data which we saw earlier in the python application it will take all the data sent over from the sent from the user and this is also what we see on the console as well once that is done all the data is sent to the python app function and from there it is sent to the dynamo db similarly we also have a button for getting for retrieving all the books once we, to that is triggered when the button is clicked and the get all books function is triggered that particular function is a get request is an axios get request which goes to the get all books function from to the python file once that is done we set we have set a variable at the top which is a array and we are putting all the items that are retrieved from the dynamo db to set books and to display all the items we are using the list list item and the list item text which is a react component and we are going to use the map function for the variable books and we are going to use the index so if you see the data it is 0 1 2 3 so that is why we have the index over here and for every item we are going to look at the index and the item that we need to print on the front end is the name of the book that we can get by simply doing book dot name that is how you get the name of the books so if i click here right now we get the new book as well right so that's how the front end works it's a pretty straightforward code if you go through the code you can understand it easily the code is available on my github decks again on my github repository you can clone it as well as fork it so this is what i wanted to show you in this particular video it is a it will it is going to help you do the crude operations with fast api react and dynamodb you can connect different aws services like rds which is a relational database of aws and do similar operations as well i hope this video was helpful if you like our content please like share and subscribe thank you